And boom. This is gonna be a weird one, guys. Oh, nice, they already have the new characters, too. The Boxer. This guy was cracked. The arcade version. Damn, look at those sprites! Woohoo! Who's that? Oh, that was a great intro. Even on handheld, the intros are godlike. Okay, so we are so close to Goro now, but my OCD has caused me to look at the shadow part of the Fatal Fury series. So we're gonna check out uh, the handheld version called uh, Fatal Fury First Contact, which is pretty much real about two, which we played recently for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And we'll also be checking out Fatal Fury Wild Ambition. So, uh, what should I talk about first? So the Neo Geo Pocket Color came out in 1999, and this is one of the few titles on it. It was a 16-bit handheld uh, platform and handheld uh, console, and it's mostly known for its joystick. It's got a very unique joystick on it that's very good for fighting games, because it's meant to have a lot of fighting games on it, because, you know, it's Neo Geo. So, but it came out at, like, when Nintendo, I mean, Nintendo still does have a giant, like, stranglehold on the entire handheld market at this time. This was during the, the Game Boy Color days, and when Pokemon was, like, mind-controlling all the Nintendo fans. So this came out a really rough time. Also, on top of that, SNK was on their way out, going bankrupt. And unfortunately, this handheld console only lasted for like a year. And then, yeah, everything was, uh, everything ceased from there. So, how expensive was it? Um... Actually, I actually find out for you. $70. In the year 1999. Uh... Another thing, too, is that Nintendo was about to release the uh, the Game Boy Advance, which was like 32 bits, so that was like GG's. Nintendo just had too much power, man. They were crazy. But it's still cool, like, apparently this game was still reviewed really high. For a fighting game on a handheld, apparently it plays really well. The Neo Geo Pocket Color only has two buttons, A and B. So, to, you have punch and kick, and to do heavies, you gotta press A and B at the same time. And it's got a start button, which you can use for taunts. And the Game Boy Advance came out in 2001, and was, a uh, $100 US. The Game Boy Color came out in 1998, and was $80, so, pretty much the same price. So, not bad. It's just that the Neo Geo Pocket just didn't have too many games on it. It had barely any games. But like I said, the joystick was quite unique. You'd have to look it up on Google, but it was kind of like a... You know, like that PSP kind of disc joystick? But it was like, it was digital. So, like I said, really good for core circle motions and all that. Alright, let's check this out. So we're gonna play this first. Uh, we'll obviously play Terry and Mai, at the very least. Level normal time... Auto power off. Okay, we're good. The Game Boy Advance was $100, so $30 more than Neo Geo Pocket on release. Yeah. And it came out a year after the handheld died anyway, so it didn't really matter. It stopped... It stopped, uh, what's it called? Production. And SK got bought out and turned into Pachinko games. <laughs> Old chiptunes. Wow, look at this character selection screen. Wow, it's Joe! They have Krauser and Yamazaki, cool. And they got both the new characters for Real Bout 2. Of course, I got Billy King. All right, let's play some Terry. Wow, these sprites look amazing. Once again, this is 16 bits, so. Oh, we get to choose who we fight first? Okay. Let's fight against good old Yamazaki. This looks sick, yeah. Oh wow, it's got the same intro too. Still makes me salty that Resident Evil Game Boy game got cancelled, man. It was so hype. Wow, it's got the same stage? Okay. Got punch. Kick. You still have hop in this game. You can tap, jump for hop. Oh, power wave. Burn knuckle. 
crack shoot. Oh, I got my command normal, my forward kick. Oh, I still got kick kick uh, target combo. When it says two hits at the bottom. Okay, the supers is core circle back half circle forward B. Oh my god, and that's on a handheld console. Pow Dude, power guys, you see that? I could do it on handheld. Okay. Half circle forward B. Uppercuts are pretty hard to do. Oh my god. No, you have a key. So if I press A and B at the same time, this I do my heavy. There it is, right there. You actually have to press it hard. You can't just tap it. Nice. Jump C D. <laughs> Two button fighting game, it's the future. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Whoa, Kim is cracked. They got enough space to fit Kim's full name, but not Terry's. Power wave. Power wave. Nice. Rising tackle. Yeah, playing this on the- oh, he's stunned. Fatality. Playing this on the bus would be really fun. Okay, you guys want to know something funny? This entire time, and I mean this entire time, I was reading the wrong move list. I was reading Andy Bogard. Isn't that sick? Okay. Round wave is half <laughs> circle forward A. I don't know what the hell. Wait, how do I throw in this game? I'm assuming it's A and B. He's the better one anyways. Okay, yeah, there's round round wave. It's half circle forward. Just like in Street Fighter 6, guys. And it's plus on block. Crack shoot is half circle back B. Uh, rising tackle, you don't need the charge. It's simply down up A. And power geyser is core circle back, half circle forward B. And when I have full power, it's core circle back, half circle forward A. Yeah, so pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, to throw it's forward. Or back and A and B at the same time. I like that you can still hop in this game. No ch yeah, no charge. You know, these handheld games always fascinate me because... You have to do so much with so little. And I'm not really a handheld guy, but... I think doing fighting games in particular is really challenging. I was surprised you did so well against Chen Fei in Real Bao 2. We never got to see her super. Uh, well, she has three supers, and we did two of them to unlock the secret boss. One of them seven times, one of them five times. 
She basically has like a Rekka super that starts off from a heavy, a heavy punch, but we never got to do that one. Are you a fan of Nintendo Switch Vesper? No comment. Oh, she does her uppercut. Oh, there's my throw. Power Geyser. I want to see the triple geyser, but I never get hurt enough. CPU so much of a bump. Wow, they got the wind pulls too. It's perfect. Oh god, it's Billy King. Wow, you look so devious in this game. Look at that smirk. Oh, I hate that move. Wow, look at that cross out. Looks like a Mega Man Robot Master. Looks a little better than that, I'd say. Okay, we can do. We have full power triple geyser. Get close to me, Billy, so I can do this. Oh, you did a super nice. One, two, three, triple geyser. That was super hype. Hey, even if you don't like the Switch, at least that's something different from regular consoles. Steam Deck notwithstanding, yeah? Yeah, as much as I... ...talk shit about Nintendo... ...I told you guys, there's a very high chance I'll actually pick up the Switch too. Or maybe I might wait a bit to see if, uh, you know, there's any... ...problems on launch like a lot of consoles do. But with my retro collecting and all that, I, uh... In order for me to properly collect these games, a lot of them are going to be available for the Switch. I'm sure it'll be backwards compatible as well. So, that's one of the main reasons. All these, like, retro reprints are all available. Like, because handheld, right? A lot of people like to play retro games on handheld, and... It's probably cheapest, too. To license and all that. So it all goes to Nintendo. Whoa. How will the Switch 2 be better than the first one? Uh, well, obviously it'll be more powerful. That'll be like the big one. Hopefully it'll be easier to set up online. The second Switch had an Ethernet port? Oh, really? That'd be big then. There's some weird thing, you had to download like some mobile app or something for it. I'm not sure. Nintendo actually makes a significant amount of money off their hardware. They rip people off, making you buy a bunch of things that should be already with the game. Guys, uh... No, it's not required? Okay. Yeah, I don't have a Switch, so I can't tell you. Oof. I got the Castlevania Remix on Switch, so I can play them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like I said, it's very common. Almost every game, like a retro reprint of Gun, is all they all have Switch versions. Some are Switch exclusive, so I'm like, oh damn, dude. Especially a lot of indie games too. Wow, look at this stage. The CPC stage looks great. It's built on on the new dock, which expands and stuff. Yeah, now that Nintendo see, like, remember that Nintendo Switch is extremely successful. Like, it's getting dangerously close to the PlayStation 2 in sales, so... Nintendo is like, they're gonna go all out on the Switch 2. Another thing that's like... I wouldn't say it's underrated, but it's important for handheld consoles, is the screen. Like, is it OLED and all of that? Like, the, the image clarity on a handheld is very important. It's always been important. I don't know if you guys remember those funny attachments on the Game Boy, like the... Magnifying glass screen thing, the, the light... Um, you know what I'm talking about, Qua? 
And when the Game Boy Color came out, it was just a game changer because it was perfect timing. Game Boy Color plus Pokemon Red and Blue. It was a one-two punch world domination. No one could fuck with Nintendo. Like I said, they had a stranglehold. Even this game, as godlike as it as it was, everyone turned their face. They're like, eh, fighting games are yuck. All that all that matters is knowing the best combo. No skill. It's all about Pokemon, baby. Pokemon did change everything. It still does. Nintendo can't miss. Uh, what about the Wii U? They definitely missed there. They missed by a long shot. Oh, this character's cracked. Did you catch them all? I, I, I didn't own a Game Boy. I only played Pokemon. I had that, um, you know that, that Game Boy, at, uh, what is that Super Nintendo cartridge that allows you to put Game Boy games in and play it off the Super Nintendo? That was absolutely genius. Was it called Super Game Boy? I, I, I was just guessing because, you know, Super Nintendo. That was a genius idea by Nintendo. And I was really excited for Pokemon Stadium because in my head I was like, wow, it'd be so cool to have like a, a next-gen version of Pokemon. You can compete against people and play them. But then they made Pokemon Snap and I'm just like, man, I'm done with this console. I looked at Metal Gear Solid and I was like, I'm done. Crack, shoot. Hey, it's not half circle back, it's core circle back. This FAQ is wrong. I rent a Pokemon Snap? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Plays Quest 64 instead. Round wave. Yeah, it's funny, like, I talk so much shit about handheld and all that, but, like, some of the best games we played on our retro streams are all, like, handheld games. <laughs> it just makes me salty, because, like, the main thing is... ...is, man, those games would, would flourish on console, you know? Aria of Sorrow is one of the big ones. And Metroid Fusion. Those games would be so cracked. They were meant for PlayStation. Wow, I threw the hat perfectly on his head. Uh-oh, it's Andy. I read your move list, Andy. Beware. Did I play any of the Turtles Game Boy games? I don't believe so. We played through the most of the, Ninten or the Ninja Turtles series, though, at the beginning of the 90s. We played Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3. Turtles in Time. So we played 4, and we played the Genesis version of it, which is called, like, Hyper Stone Heist or something. And we played uh, the arcade versions, we played the, the original uh, Ninja Turtles on the NES, and we did a challenge run, where I beat it legit, without continues. Uh, I don't know, oh, he did a super on me. Metroid Fusion was the game as a kid I stayed up all night playing on GBA. Yeah, I mean, playing Metroid Fusion... Like... If I were to play as a kid as handheld, man, that might have changed me. Because the story in that game is so... good. Oh, I did the cancel from guard. They still have that in this game. I don't think there's, there's dual lanes in this game. Oh. Does select work? I wanted to do my taunt thing, but it was... I know it was the start button. Yeah, I never played Kirby series, uh, as a kid. I only played it with you guys when we did, finally did it on stream. Plus, Qual forced me to play Kirby. That Super Nintendo game. Because they were like, what's his name was farming it and didn't have the balls to do a true Kirby sequel. He wasted our time with like Kirby's dream course in that All Stars game. Just wait for the D DS Castlevanias? Yeah, that's what we're up to right now. And, of course, that second uh, PlayStation 2.
Pokemon GS are my favorite. What's what's GS? Oh shit. Oh, let's do triple geyser. If he hits you, my bar drains. I gotta say, it's really easy to do supers on this on this game. It's even though it's core circle back, half circle forward, it's very responsive. Gen 2 gold silver. What came after uh uh red and blue? Wait, why can't I continue? Oh, it's A. I was scared there. I thought we were gonna... Hey, it's got the same thing. Let's go to normal game. Uh, this is in real bow to the arcade version too. Extra match means we start the match with one round winning. Uh, quarter of opponent power. Uh, they lose health at the beginning of their match. And power gauge max is self-explanatory. But we'll just choose normal. We're not cheaters. Maybe the execution is easier because they expect to do it with the original controller. Yeah, I don't know. Like, once again, the, the Neo Geo Pocket Color is actually known to be really good for fighting games because of its unique joystick. Ruby and Sapphire is the next gen? That's cool. Yeah, I, I really think we should play Pokemon Red or Blue on stream as a throwback. I think it will be fun. I'm kind of itching, and I just want an excuse to play an RPG, man. I'm just so... Joel, I've been so overdue on playing RPG. The ex at Expedition 33, guys, there was a new, like, gameplay preview of it, and my god, dude, I'm so gonna get that game. No potions run? Pikachu? I don't know what my Pokemon team... I, I, I like... I like, uh, that Magikarp's, uh, evolution. What was it? When he turns into a giant, like, sea dragon? I like, uh, Gengar. Gyrados? Gyarados? Uh, Gengar. Um, Snorlax. Uh, how many Pokemon is that? It's like three. Maybe Slowpoke. I like Pokemon that, like, represent me. Those are S tiers. Snorlax is a big catch, yeah. yeah. Snorlax, yeah. My niece, when she was very young, Uncle Vesper, she used to call me Snorlax for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, nice, Krauser. We always get together at our our family dinners for like Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever, and I always, everyone's like, you know, it's just, it's on my mother's side, so it's like the you know the Vietnamese family, and they love karaoke and drinking and shit, and I just pass out on the couch. And my niece, she would always notice me passing on the couch and calls me Snorlax. Oh my God, Kaiser Wave. I'll chisel your gravestone. Mm -mm. Are you not full of yet? No, no, I'm half. Ooh. Yeah, that's Claw. Claw's full of yet. Ooh. Yeah, I have, uh... All the strengths and none the weaknesses, though. I don't have, like... <laughs> I don't know if I can even say this on stream. <laughs> I don't have, like, a gambling addiction or something. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. If you know, you know. <laughs> just jokes, guys. I'm just kidding. My god. If you know, you know. Come on. <laughs> You're about to get cancelled. Come on, guys. I should stop there. There's, there's more I can say, but, you know. Only my fellow Viet friends would find it amusing. <laughs> I 
Atlantic City. I understand 100% via here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. Oh, what? He's got a command grab? From the air? What? I can't jump at him. What is this? Triple Geyser. Oh my god. Able command grab? I think it's called a uh, falling star. Falling sky? Yeah. And remember you used to whiff it to build meter? My god, dude. Street Fighter 5 <laughs> game is such a mess. Street Fighter 4 is so not Kino. <laughs> you were really good at Street Fighter 4 though, Qua. I remember you used to play a lot of Ryu. Nice. Guys, uh... I know, I had nothing to play, yeah. Bottom one, Ryu. Ryu, for a while, was... very top tier in Street Fighter 4. They nerfed him to the ground because of Daigo, and Daigo got salty. Oh! We nuked Krauser. Street Fighter 4 is your favorite Street Fighter? Yeah, understandable. Oh, cool, we got the same, like, almost windscreen, too. Really nice, uh, pixel work in this. Hey, he's dreaming, he's got burger and fries. Nice. So, surprisingly, there's actually a secret boss in this game, too. I believe if you, uh, beat the game without losing a round, and once again, you gotta land five of the S supers, or seven of the S supers, or five of the P supers. And then you get to fight Alfred and earn Alfred. Just like in uh, Real Bout 2. However, there's another secret character if you earn Alfred as a playable character in this. And he can- he's only playable by the second player? Which, I don't understand how that works, because the- you know, how do you play two players on the Neo Geo Pocket Color? But his name is Lau. Oh, I guess we could just check up a YouTube video for it. But you saw him at the very beginning. I wonder how well this game sold? Like I said, it was unfortunately... Uh, the the handheld itself didn't do very well. It only survived a year before it got discontinued because Nintendo took over and SNK went under and turned into a bunch of pachinko machines. And everyone left and uh, started a new company. So there's a, there's a lot of story that happened here because this is around the 99. Uh, this is the Neo Geo Pocket Color. No. Yeah, this is, this is Neo Geo, bro. Pretty crazy. Okay, let's play some Mai. The Wonder Swan was so freaking cool. I remember seeing the Wonder Swan version of Final Fantasy 1 was really nice. Alright, Mai, where are you at? Oh, there she is. Wow, she looks so happy. I really like this uh, pixel art. It looks so good. They made her eyes so big and cheery. Beat up Rick. Alright, where's Mai's move list here? Nice. Nice. 
the air is down A, B for the flying squirrel. My super is four core circle forward B. No, oh, it's got to be forward half circle forward. Yeah. Oh, it's still an anti air in this. Mine's gonna be so sick in Street Fighter 6. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, I forgot to ask, how are you guys doing today? Happy Friday. How's your guys' weekend going? Like I said, we got uh, Japan CPT to look forward to. And now we're kind of just relaxing and waiting for... Uh, Marvel Collection and uh, Terry's release next month. So we're just coasting. So we're going to be jumping between a lot of retro fighting games and Street Fighter 6 while we wait for a couple weeks now. So that's why we're cruising through these now. We'll play Gorosim probably on Sunday. Nice. And, uh... Hopefully the time will fly fast. Damn, they got the second colors in this too? That's so cool. <laughs> Another thing too, guys, is I've been really... Thinking deeply about this Dead Rising 2 thing. I want to play it so badly before Remaster comes out because I want to show you the game. But I've been like... You know those scenes in movies where someone's like sitting down in a chair and... With like a glass of scotch or something and staring at the fire. And the fire is reflecting off his retinas. And he's just staring at it deeply and intensely. That's like me. Thinking about if I can get Dead Rising 2 out before Remaster. Yo, what's up, Dark Lord? Visions of the past, the days of glory. I just like... So I found I found the old hard drive of Dead Rising 2. And I watched, I watched some of my run just to see, give an idea of what's possible. And it's impossible. I did way too much. Like, you guys don't understand. It's like the Dead Rising 1 run on crack. I, I actually 100% the game. Like, I do every, like, thing you can do. All without weapons in one playthrough. We get the armor, the Arthur costume, and everything. And I play all the mini games. I get a maximum amount of money. Like, it's like ridiculous. And it's all down to the wire. Like, it's like a perfect run. And there's just no way. Even with like two weeks of preparation, I can remember that much. There's just no way. I must have, like, when I would, when the game first came out, I must have. It must have been segmented. It's the only way I could have done that much. It's really crazy. Why not casually play 3 and 4? Well, that's what Bunky mentioned to me. He's like, dude, why do you have to do a challenge run every time? You know, just play Dead Rising 2 just to show you guys it. So, I'll compromise and, like, we'll do the challenge run late in, later in the future. But I still want to save everyone and show you guys a bunch of cool things with Dead Rising 2. So, I'll work with Bunky on it and maybe I can get it ready before Remaster comes out. But it's going to be... It's gonna be airtight, man. Because of a schedule is so crazy right now, because of the Marvel collection throws a wrench and everything. We're gonna be playing a lot of Marvel, so. Anyways, thought you guys should know. Either way, it's good for you guys. So we gotta Oh no! Irochi! The important thing is, is that there's a lot of games to play. Okay, forward house circle forty. Cool. I like her super better in real bout special though. Yeah, if you guys like the story and characters in Dead Rising 1, you'll also like it in Dead Rising 2. There's a lot of cool characters and story. Hey Vess, we're currently playing skill-based matchmaking 6. <laughs> what? There's nothing wrong with skill-based matchmaking in a fighting game, guys. It's 1v1. But yeah, man, the, the Zangief run went so smooth. And Manon, you guys opened up Pandora's box by choosing Manon. We we would have completed our, our Manon journey in a single night if I didn't stop to watch a tournament. We made it to like 1670. We were on the cusp. 
But I want- I like playing Manon, so we're gonna savor it. Probably finish it tomorrow. That's just a true Manon main. Yeah, I don't know. That character clicks with me for some reason. Manon is cracked? I don't know. She's like one of my best characters. And she got some new sauce that the chat was teaching me too. There's people still playing Black Ops too? That's cool. Black Ops 4 is where it's at though. Her buttons, yeah, her buttons are insane. I remember you getting into 1700 instantly for the first time. Yeah, Manon's just... Like, obviously she's a bottom three character, but... In ranked, it's like a different story. Okay. Four, has to go four. Bam, 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 bam. I want to play Kimberly next, though, guys. I'm itching to play her. Let's play her after Manon. Uh, how are the controls? Uh, they're simple. It's only A and B. We got punch and we got kick. And to do heavy, you press punch and kick at the same time. And that's it. There's an option button. As well, like I can do taunts with. You hold the button down for her super, it apparently extends the range. <laughs> Sounds annoying if you have kid sized hands pressing both buttons at the same time. Yeah, you might be right. Best for Sandbag and Jerry, I see how, how it is. Well, the thing is, we did our vote, and you know what? Uh, Jerry was actually one of the least amount voted for. Kimberly got second. Obviously, it matters what day I ask you guys which character to play, but... I just really want to explore Kimberly's buffs. I feel like Jerry is just the same character in Season 2, you know? So I just feel like Kimberly will be more enjoyable for me. Kim was fourth, played Jerry third, Kimberly second. Yeah, Manon and Kimberly got a lot of votes. Did you ever play CVS Card Clash? That game was dope. No, I never even heard of it. But, you know, we should, like... As we're playing our retro fighting games, I should try to do a little bit more research and actually find more references, like... Find games where Mai's in it, or Ryu, or Kami. You know, like, Cannon Spike? You guys remember Cannon Spike? Find more kind of stuff like that. I think you guys will be interested in. And this Lee Shen Fei, she's got really cool level 3 grab super. Look at those jiggle physics. What? Oh, because Mai still has the, the pixel booba wind pose. It took up most of the RAM. Ah, oh. She stopped my super, stuffed it. Kind of swag was so weird and cool to me as a kid. I barely remember it. Barely. I just remember there's like rollerblades, Cami, and Nash. That's it.
We gotta squeeze in House of the Dead in there too, guys. It'll really long overdue on that series. It's another one of my... Because now we're playing Dead Rising. House of the Dead is one of, one of the OG... YouTube videos. Nice. Is this Game Boy? It's Neo Geo Pocket Color. This came out in 1999. We're actually playing the Fatal Fury games in order. Chronological order. So this came out after uh, Real Bow 2 in the arcades. And it's obviously based off of Real Bow 2. Mai is also in some weird PSP RPGs. Yeah. There's also this weird game where Time Gal's from as well that I kind of want to check out sometime in the future. The official mascot of Vesper Arcade. Joe's so cool. Yeah, he's pretty sick. Oh no, he blocked my super. I guess we should get a Time Cow VTuber model. <laughs> I like my my World Tour avatar in Street Fighter 6. Maybe I'm gonna hire an artist to like put that in cartoon form for me for my new overlay. Oh no, it's keys. Oh, that jumping claw attack looks scary. Like a comic artist? <laughs> I don't know. Not sure. Best for spirit model, yeah. How's Geese got the least detailed model? I mean, he's pretty much a dude in like weeb pants with no shirt on. One of the distinguishing things about Geese is a scar, too. So I don't know. <gasps> Rising Storm! Clutch. Fight. Oops. Sorry, I had to hit the snooze button there. CB seems pretty easy in this game. Yeah, I mean, the console versions of fighting games, they don't need to eat your quarters, right? So. They're a lot easier. No. Good deeps.
Can't wait for CVS3 one day, guys, in like 2027. We will flourish. And we'll have two Capcom fighting games at once. The dream. It'll be so crazy if that ever happens. Hmm? Woohoo! Oh, what? We earned Alfred? But we lost a round. We got the secret boss accidentally. That's so cool. I'm glad we were able to do it and you have to go on YouTube for it. Okay. I guess I landed so many supers. And look, it's the same secret stage and character. Isn't that hype? Even on the Neo Geo pocket color. Yeah, Slim, we were talking about Dead Rising 2 and how my run is too- my master run is too crazy, too cracked, and impossible to recreate without like a month of preparation. So I was talking with Bunky, we're gonna do a compromise, we're gonna play a casual, casual ego playthrough. Maybe. Before a remaster comes out. Just so you guys can have a taste of Dead Rising 2. Yeah, I was pumping my- I was too crazy. It's too- the run is too nuts, so... At the very least, I want to show you guys the game. Do a casual ego playthrough. Yeah, that, that way, everyone wins. Apparently they added, uh... New magazines to Dead Rising 1 Remaster as well. I didn't want to spoil much, but they, they changed a lot of stuff, man. For better or for worse, so you guys better be ready. Casual run turns to the master run 30 minutes in. Yeah, that probably will happen. But don't worry, I'll find a good challenge run for our Dead Rising Remaster. I'll figure out something sick. At the very least, no chainsaw. And we might collect the whole Mega Man costume this time around. Because there was a lot of downtime when we were waiting for uh, the helicopter and we are chilling with Isabella. I can use that spare time to... You're supposed to get the full Mega Man costume, like the Mega Man Buster. I have to, I have to kill like... 34,000 zombies or something. Which sounds like a lot, but... Not when you go through the maintenance tunnel, so... Yeah, I mean, to be fair though, some don't, don't forget, Dead Rise, that was the PC version, you know? But the Xbox 360 version still looks good, you can look it up. It's got way longer loading times, but... Yeah, the PC one runs really well. Of, of course there was a lot of slowdown too, because there's so many zombies on the screen, especially when you're outside. But it was pretty impressive. Damn, Alfred blocks a lot. We win! So we unlocked Alfred as a, as a secret character. But unfortunately, I don't think I can show you guys that other secret character. Wow. My knows baking? She's making sushi. She doesn't have that scary dream uh, where she finds out that Andy's actually bald. Yeah, Andy's wig. Yeah, exactly. Dead Rising was kind of like a... ...technical... ...like a tech demo game kind of game. There's a lot of things. Yeah, it was a very cool game. All debug stuff and SNK. Cool. That's a happy little game. No, thank you, SNK. Sick. Thanks, guys. Happy retro night. Yeah, let's play Alpha real quick, too, because this might be the last one of the last times we see this character. And since we earned him, I feel proud about it. I got his move list, too. He should have been the main character of Street Fighter 6. There he is. Gotta make Haps happy, yeah. 
Whoa, what's a Joe's uh, long chain combo there? It's got a lot of command normals too, Alfred. There's this uh, diver jet thing, which is pretty hard to hit. Oh, we got the full thing just there. Of course, we'll go back A, B in the air. Oh. Oh my god, Joe's so crazy in this game. Oh, we did the follow up that time. Was Joe able to block the follow up? Man, they did a good job with the animations in this. I can't believe Capcom stole Jerry's die kick from Alfred. <laughs> yeah, made it, made it. Yeah, that secret character's name is is Lau. As a kid, always putting all this secret stuff in their games. Cool, nice old school. This dash is pretty good too. Wow. That move has such long startup. Oh, what move is that? He's got like a knee stop move? Oh, break shot. I missed my Neo Geo pocket. Yeah, there's a regular Neo Geo pocket too. Of course, I go back. House of 480. This super was a pain in the butt trying to figure out how to do it. When we played Real Bow 2. Thanks for the 49, Alchemist. Poor Alfred. Well, that was an intro jobber who turns in girl. Oh, really? It's like an Aegis Reflector. Whoa, what move is that? So cool. Oh yeah, he's got a Tiger Knee move. Forward to up. A little tough to do. Oh, I just did it. It's really good because it's like a command grab. Yeah, the controls, like I said, are surprisingly very responsive in this game. On this handheld. Yeah, Rick is sick. But he wasn't cool enough and they turn him into Vanessa. Just like Fang wasn't cool enough and neither was T-Hawk. Or Abel. Abel. Body, 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 body. Rick. What's up, Surfer? Interesting game, yeah! Okay. Ooh, this super is really hard to land. Manon's weird because she has zero connection to Abel other than both being French and her outfit one. Yeah, and, and being a grappler, I guess, too. I like the idea of her, her target cones that vacuum in, but I think she did need that step kick too. And some kind of air grab thing. I don't know. Oh, 
Get in the ring. God, Billy's sprite looks so cool. Who's this Alfred character? He's a hidden boss in Real Bout 2. And in Real Bout dominated minds or mind for the PlayStation basically real about two for the PlayStation he's the main character he's an airplane pilot and there's this old man I think is his grandpa that flies with him his co-pilot he has cool like aerial attacks We, we, we just played it, uh, not last night, but the night before. So if you want to check out that play, if you can check out the archives or I'll eventually upload it on YouTube. I got the Dead Rising 1, uh, part 1 playthrough out today, this morning. And I'll upload the second part, uh, tomorrow morning. And then I'll get the Path, Path of the Goddess out very soon. I'm really behind on uploading my retro videos. I've been so busy. That. Was that range on Billy? I know Billy's cracked. Yeah, that plays version was funny because uh it's got a new last boss too, and Billy is like the henchman still for some reason. Your thumbnail on Dead Rising 1 upload was hilarious, yeah? Oof. Oh, cheats. Oh no. Oh my god, no! <laughs> yeah, that was an insane chip, hey? I was stuck in blocks then. And there was so much slowdown. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. No, Billy, mercy. Yeah, it's that super is hard to land, the level 3. Maybe you can combo into it, but you can juggle after into another special. So it makes it strong. Yeah, Alfred's like the generic hero anime character. I think he's cooler than Luke, though. Ulti. Oh. Billy looks so much better than Bandana. I know you guys are salty about that. <laughs> salty about Billy no Bandana and poor Mai gave her a biker costume.
My looks hotter in a biker costume? Damn. You gotta be careful saying that in public. If Mai has her classic college, then hopefully Billy will have hers out. Uh oh. Hyper didn't get the memo. Oh boy. Yeah, Hyper, it, it's uh, confirmed that, that my costume, the classic, is not actually a costume. It's a transformation. But she does during her super. Between that and poor Billy with no bandana. What? Oh no! Sorry, dude. Sorry to be the one to tell you. Yeah, SNK fans starting to riot. SNK has eight months. <laughs> the clock is ticking. Helicopter arrives in eight months. Oh my god, ah, big deeps. He's done. Command grab. Bang. Yeah, it's forward, up forward, up B. <clears throat> they need to have extra costumes though? Yeah, they do. Need to get their DLC on. This is a fun stage. Lots of pigs everywhere. Oh no, a back throw. I love that back throw animation she has. It's really sick. I love that double, like, back palm kind of style attack. Very cool. Did she taunt me? Oh, there it is again. Don't hurt me. No, her uppercut. Yes. This game looks better than Street Fighter. Okay, calm down, guys. Thank you. 
I said jo a Joe post. And Joe went off the rails last night. He was calling me some mean names. Cause I brought up Joe, misspelled his name again, and I know it tilts him. I know it eats him alive. <laughs> yeah, he snapped, dude. He snapped and went off. He, he didn't care, even without his sword and shield. He came straight at me. Like Sagat uh, on Ryu at the beginning of the Street Fighter anime. He was like, uh, uh. Like he went nuts. <clears throat> oh, did that break again? Sorless Jork, yeah. Yeah, someone in the chat was like, Joe, what happened to your sword? <laughs> that probably tilted him too. <clears throat> we did it! No geese, final boss? Yeah, and then and then Slim named his sword Double Down. <laughs> This game is sick. Wait until you guys see the next game, though. <clears throat> it's gonna be a doozy. You guys pushed them there, we did. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, next game, Micah. Gonna need your help. Yeah, don't forget, we gotta check on, uh, YouTube as well for that secret character, Lau. Almost forgot, but I'm glad we, we earned Alfred. Yeah, that's funny, Mike, or the Nod's gonna be able to share information. Thank you. So you, you can see the unique joystick that the pocket color has. Very cool. There he is. I'm getting like... Kunio-kun vibes. What the heck are these moves? <laughs> he summons his spirits. Oh, he's got funny buttons too. And he has his own stage? Oh, you get to see his supers? That's hype. I <laughs> like his dude, his stances, all that when he jumps is funny. Yeah, those cross ups look nuts. Yeah, that move looks super unsafe. It looks like one of those school thugs from like Kunio Kun. Yeah, all of his special moves are simple, like core circles and uppercut motions, nothing fancy. Okay, what do you guys think of this game? Like I said, it didn't take up too much of our time. I just wanted to go through the entire series, but the controls feel really good. A lot of the special moves they kept in the game. The music's great. Unfortunately, you can't hear the characters like scream out their all their uh, special move names because of you know the restrictions of a handheld. But 
It was fun, and also having a secret stage is cool too. This would be fun to play on the bus. We're on a short road trip. Yeah, it's really too bad, like I said, the, the Neo Geo Pocket Color didn't have too many games, but... It only lived for about a year. There's that secret character I want to show you guys, but you can find it on YouTube. Pretty big roster too. Like I said, handheld fighting games are very, very tricky to do well.